interval estimation of population mean with unknown variance. So, itry natin mag-solve ng confidence interval of difference between two population means. So, dito, pag sinabi po kasi natin na difference, so, the mathematical operation na gagamitin natin is subtraction. So, pag subtraction, dapat may minimum na dalawa. Okay? Kasi, hindi naman pwedeng i-subtract yung isang number lang, dun sa isang number lang. Pwede namang tatlo or more. Okay? So, dapat ang minimum natin dito is 2. So, try natin mag-solve. Okay? So, ang mga formula ang gagamitin natin dito ay this one. Okay? This is the mean of first independent random variable minus the mean of second independent variable. So, kung mapapansin nyo, yung mga subscript na nandito, which is 1 and 2, denoting the first and second group respectively. So, kagaya ng mean ng ating sample size, which is N. Okay? So, lahat po yan may subscript para alam natin kung Anong tinutukoy niyang group? So, ulitin natin dito sa formula. This is a mean mean of first independent random variable minus the mean of the second independent variable minus the t-value. Ito yung critical value na nakuha natin sa na makukuha natin sa ating t-distribution table. Ito yung bago which is sp. This is the pooled sample standard deviation multiplied by the square root of 1 over sample size of first, of first population plus 1 over the sample size of the second population. Okay? So, the rest po is pareho lang po yan dito. Okay? This refers to our lower confidence limit dahil may minus. Dito naman po sa kabilang side is yung upper confidence limit dahil may plus sign. Okay? Kung mapapansin nyo, bagong formula din po itong SP, which is the, sam uh, the pooled sample size. Gamitin natin, okay? Which is N, minus, N of 1 minus 1, S of 1 squared plus the quantity N sub 2 minus 1 times the N sub 2 is squared over N, N sub 1 plus N sub 2 minus 2. So, yung SP natin, dapat i-square root lang natin dito sa, sa ating S of P na nakuha natin kanina. Okay? Bago naman yung ating formula para sa margin of error. Okay? The margin of error na gagamitin na natin dito is yung critical value S of P. Square root of 1 over N sub 1 plus N sub 2. So, try natin mag-solve dito. A group of 15 learners are taught using a new method of teaching math. A second group of 12 learners was taught using the traditional method. At the end of the grading period, the same examination was given to each group. The 15 learners who were taught using the new method made an average of 88 and standard deviation of 8. The 12 learners who were taught using the traditional method made an average of 80 and a standard deviation of 5. Okay. So, ang pinapahanap sa atin dito is find the 95% confidence interval for the difference between the population means. Assume that the population is approximately distributed with equal variance. So, para ma-solve yan, balikan ulit natin yung mga given natin. So, doon, pagbabalikan natin yung mga given natin, okay? So, meron tayong dalawang group. Isang grupo ng 12 learners, tsaka isang grupo ng 15 learners, okay? In each group, meron silang sariling average at meron din silang sariling standard deviation. Kaya, kung isasama rin natin lahat ng binigay sa atin na given is makakagawa tayo ng ganitong table. Okay? So, para sa group 1, group 2, okay, this N represents the sample size. Ang sample size ng group 1 is 15. Sample size ng group 2 is 12. Ang mean po ng group 1 is 88. Ang mean ng group 2 is 80. At ang standard deviation naman ng group 1 is 8. Ang standard deviation ng group 2 is 5. So, lahat nung Sinabi sa atin ng problem is isinamari lang natin using isang table para mapapadali yung paghahanap natin na mga kakailanganin natin pag isosolve na natin siya gamit ng mga formulas na kakailanganin natin. Depende kung anong pinapahanap sa atin ng problem. 
Okay? So, number one, ang step number one natin is that find the degree of freedom. Okay? So, ang pagsasolve po natin dito is step by step para wala tayong mamiss at saka hindi po tayo maguluhan kung ano na nga ba yung natapos natin at ano pa yung kakailanganin natin para masolve natin kung anong hinahanap sa atin ng problem. Okay? So, kakailangan din ako natin pinakauna dito is the degree of freedom. Okay? Ang formula natin ng degree of freedom is the sample population size of group 1, okay, plus sample population size of group 2 minus 2, okay? Again, may subscript po siya na 1, n of 1, at saka n of 2. So, ibig sabihin, ng n na tinutukoy dito ay magagaling daw sa group 1, at n, ang n naman dito ay magagaling sa group 2, okay? So, doon sa ating problem, ang ating n sub 1 is 15, ang ating n sub 2 is 12. So, 12 plus 15 plus 12 minus 2 is equal to 25. So, ang ating degree of freedom is 25. Tanong, sapat na ba yung nalaman natin ng degree of freedom? Sapat na rin po ba yung alam natin na sample size, mean, tsaka standard deviation para makuha natin yung critical value? So, palagay natin hindi pa kasi may isang elemento pa na hindi pa natin nasusob. Kaya, gagawin na natin ngayon ang ating step 2. Ang ating step 2 is find the alpha or the confidence level. Okay? So, ang gagamitin daw natin formula, ang gagamitin daw natin confidence level sa ating problem is a 95%. Okay? So, para ilipat yan into decimal form is that I-divide natin yung 95 sa 100 para mawawala yung ating percent form dito at mag magiging decimal na siya. So, ang ating confidence level is at 0 0.05. Okay, question. Okay na po ba yan para magamit na natin ang ating table sa paghahanap ng ating critical value? Pwede na kasi meron na tayong degree of freedom, meron na rin tayong confidence level. Okay, so ang ating... Degree of freedom is 25 at ang ating confidence level at 0.05. Kung mapapansin nyo po kasi doon sa table, merong isang one-tail test at merong isang two-tail test. Nagkataon na merong parehong value na 0.05 sa one-tail test at two-tail test. So, ang gagawin natin dito para matukoy natin is, i-divide natin siya sa two. Okay? So, para sa... 2-tail test, ang value niya ay 0.05 para sa 1-tail test, ang kanyang value is 0.025. Take note na kung titignan natin yung table, ang value na 0.05 ng 2-tail test at ang value ng 0.025 ng 1-tail test ay magkatapat. Or, ibig sabihin, iisa lang ang tinutukoy nila. So, question, pwede na ba natin alamin yung critical value? Yun, gamit ang ating t-critical value, malalaman na natin yung value natin, which is 2.060 gamit yung ating table. Again, ang ating critical value is 2.06 2.060 base dun sa ating critical value. Okay. So, anong susunod natin? Meron na tayong critical value, meron tayong degree of freedom. So, ang susunod natin gagawin dito is find the pooled sample variance. Ang ating variance po ito, ang ating Variance po ito, ang ating pooled sample variance. Okay, so ang formula natin is yung sample population of 1 minus 1 standard deviation of group 1 squared plus sample population of group 2 minus 1 times the standard deviation of group 2 squared divided by Ito po kasi, yung n sub 1 plus n sub 2 minus 2, pwede na nating sabihin na ito yung degree of freedom. Kasi na-compute na natin siya kanina. So, therefore, ang ating old sample variance is equal to 46.84. Sunod, so, meron na tayong variance. So, madali na lang para hanapin natin ang ating old sample standard deviation. Square root lang natin yung nakuha natin variance kanina. So, ang ating standard deviation is 6.84. Ngayon, kakailanganin naman natin yung margin of error. May bago tayong formula para sa standard error. Margin of error. Okay. So, ang ating margin of error is the critical value times the 
pulled sample size times the square root of 1 over n sub 2 plus 1 over n of 1. So, ang ating margin of error is equal to 5.56. Okay. So, pwede na ba nating alamin ngayon yung ating confidence interval? Siyempre, kasi meron na tayong sample size para sa group 1, sa group 2. Meron na rin tayo para sa error. Okay. So, yung mean of group 1 at saka mean of group 2 is hindi na natin kinumpute kasi given na siya doon sa problem natin. Ang kinumpute lang natin dito is yung error, margin of error which is 5.86. So therefore, kung i-integrate natin lahat ng natutunan natin at saka lahat ng na-solve natin para dito sa formula ng confidence interval, masasabi natin that the in confidence interval is 2.54 is less than the mu sub 1 minus mu sub 2 greater than 13.46 so ito na yung ating confidence interval okay kung gusto pa nating alamin yung detalyado ng ating confidence interval masasabi natin that the lower confidence limit is equal to the mean of group 1 minus mean of group 2 minus margin of error. Okay, so that's 88 minus 80 minus 5.86. So, this is 8 minus 5.46. So, ang ating lower confidence limit is 2.54. Ang ating upper confidence limit naman is mean of group 1 minus mean of group 2 plus the margin of error. So, meron tayong 88 minus 80 plus 5.46. So, this is 8 plus 5.46. Ang ating upper confidence limit is 13.46.